Hi guys, Al Hogarth here. Welcome to my new video blog for lin.co.uk. I'm a pianist and a lin artist and over the next 12 months I'm going to be talking to you about classical underdogs and by classical underdogs what I mean is piano pieces that I think are absolutely amazing bits of music that perhaps have been overshadowed by some of their more famous relatives. So if you think about a composer like Beethoven with an incredibly prodigious output, one of the pieces that people love to play and love to listen to is the Moonlight Sonata. But there's also another 31 brilliant piano sonatas that it's definitely worth checking out. So that's what I'm going to be doing, a different composer each month. And this week we're going to talk about Mozart. I'm going to be speaking about the piano sonata in A minor. Now the piece that everyone tends to associate with Mozart and the one that you find in all the piano compilations is the sonata in C major and it goes like this. Really, really famous, and a lot of you will have heard that already. Now I'm going to talk about the Sonata in A minor, which is a much, much darker piece. It was written around the time of his mother's death, and he was also left with the task of telling his father about this. So it's a piece that's really loaded with a lot of emotion and a lot of anger, I think, as well. And you can hear that immediately at the beginning of the piece. You get this, this very sort of angular rhythm and angular melody. <laughs> piano sonata is put together, it's in three really broad sections called movements and I'm just going to be talking about the first movement for you today and I'm, I'm going to play the first movement at the end of this little blog. Um, the way it's put together, it's, it's a bit like a pop song structure, it's called sonata form and you get this material at the beginning that I just played you and then what you get is a development section. The development section is where the composer mucks about with the material that he put out at the very beginning of the piece. So what you get in the development section in Mozart here is he uses the same kind of tune, but then he puts it in a major key. So you get this. And he uses that rhythm and uses that melody in loads and loads of different ways and in loads of textures. So you get the left hand doing like a boogie woogie bass and the right hand taking the tune, so you get this kind of thing. You can hear that kind of jagged rhythm all over the place. And then what he does at the end of the piece, he comes back to the opening material and it, it really has a sense of kind of coming home when that happens. So when you have a pop song, it's the same sort of thing. You have the verse and chorus at the beginning several times over. Then you have the bridge section, which I think is like the development section, which is the bit where he's exploring different ways of using the material. And then you go back to the original material at the very end of the piece. And that's like the return of the chorus several times over in a pop song. So anyway, I really, really hope you enjoy the performance of the piece. And if you want to ask me any questions, get in touch with me. Um, I'm on Twitter, and the Twitter handle is just on the screen down there at the moment. And yeah, feel free to contact me at any time, and I'll get back to you. Um, I hope you join me for my next blog, and I hope you enjoy the performance. Have a great week, guys, and see you soon.